Mathematica is renowned as the world's ultimate application for computations. Let's take a look at some of the basic types of calculations that are possible and how intuitive it is to compute just about anything in Mathematica. Let's make a new section of text. Our three options again with the cell insertion assistant go to other style of text. You can go to format, style, and section, or you can use alt 4 in your keyboard. Any of those work the exact same way. Let's call this basic calculations and hit the down arrow key to make a new horizontal line. I'm going to make a new subsection. I'll call this exact versus approximate calculations. Now, one of the nicest things about Mathematica and doing calculations is that it always gives you an exact answer if it can. For example, let's take 224 divided by 24,248 and hit shift enter to run that calculation it gives us a result back of 4 over 433. That's the exact answer reduced as far as possible, and that's great. Now, perhaps I want to actually numerically approximate that input instead. The capital N means numerically approximate, and I can either copy and paste that input, which is perfectly fine to do. So I'll say capital N, square brackets around what I want to calculate. I want to calculate this input, which I can copy and paste and I want to approximate it to, let's say, 10 digits. And hit Shift Enter to calculate, and there's that numeric approximation. I can also click my mouse back in here to make a new horizontal line. You don't have to keep working down a notebook. You can insert input wherever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and put another capital in right here, and using that palette again, remember that basic math assistant we used earlier, there's a button called Input from Above. So I'm going to click on that, I'll just pop in that input from above there for me. Let's actually approximate this to uh, 100 digits, and there it is. So pretty simple to do. You can also refer to output based on the number of input, or output if you would like. So I want to numerically approximate, let's say, uh, percent sign 12. Let's take that output, and we'll go ahead and approximate that to 10 digits again, and there's the result. So it's pretty easy to refer to things by the percent sign and the quantity of the number you want for that input or output, using the palette to refer to the copy, uh, the input from above, or you can just grab input and copy and paste that as well. Now we can also, um, let's go ahead and use that palette again. Let's make a matrix using this fourth tab. We'll just make a simple two by two matrix. Let's fill it in with six tab, uh, six tab, one tab, five. Hit Shift Enter. Now you'll notice every matrix or data uh, set in Mathematica is just a list of lists. That's how Mathematica internally represents this matrix. So if I want to do an inverse, for example, the function Mathematica is inverse, and I can do one of a couple of things. I can hit percent sign, which means take the last output. Um, so find me the inverse of that last output, and there it is. Or again, we can numerically approximate that if we want. So I can say numerically approximate that last output. Let's approximate that to three digits, and there's the result. The percent sign is nice to refer to the last output, but if you restart Mathematica, if you save this notebook and then reopen it again later, whatever, it may not be that same quantity of that numbered output. So let me show you a different thing. Let's uh, make a new horizontal line. Hit Alt-5 to make a new subsection. We're going to call this uh, variable assignment. Hit the down arrow key so we can make a new cell. We can start typing again. I'm going to make a variable called A, and we're going to say A equals 224 divided by 24,248. So now A is represented as this fraction. And I'm going to say I want to numerically approximate A to 10 digits, and there's that result. Or I'm going to say I want to numerically approximate A, hit Control-6 to make the two-dimensional exponent, and then right arrow to get out of the exponent, or we can take our mouse and click uh, to get out of the exponent as well. I'm going to say numerically approximate A squared to 10 digits, or numerically approximate the square root of A. So if you think about it, control 6 made the exponent, um, then control 2 makes a square root sign. So I can say square root of A, and then the right arrow key to get out of the square root, or use my mouse, uh, and do that to 10 digits. Or remember, we can use the palette again if you're more comfortable with that. I can just click on the button for square root, and I'll say square root of A, 
right arrow key to get out of the square root, and 10 uh, is what to approximate to. So it's all very simple to do variable assignment in Mathematica. Now, let's make another subsection. I'll use the cell, cell insertion assistant this time. We'll say um, other style of text, and we'll make a subsection. We'll call this uh, creating functions. Hit the down arrow key or just use the mouse uh, to click below that to make a new horizontal line. And I'm going to say F, open square bracket, X, underscore, close square bracket. So remember, square brackets around whatever it is we want to calculate, and then this time I'm going to use colon equals instead of just equals. So for variable assignment, we said A equals this thing. Now I'm going to say F of X, underscore, colon equals means set delayed. And I use that for any function creation. So I'm going to say x squared plus x plus 1. Now I can hit shift enter to calculate that. That's fine. I just get back that f of x is now defined for that function. The underscore, it means uh, any pattern. So when I read this in plain English, what I'm saying is f of anything is that anything squared plus anything uh, plus 1 which is why you see this X kind of uh, italicized in a different color than any of this. It doesn't really mean it's a variable. It means any pattern uh, with that underscore. So for example, let's say F of 5 and then uh, shift enter. That's 31. Or I can say, what is F of B plus 5? And that is 6 plus B plus quantity 5 plus B squared. Of course, we can expand that. So I say expand that last output and I get 31 plus 11b plus b squared. I can also use the function in some string. So if I say, what is f of dog? For example, dog is just a string, a variable here. And of course, that becomes 1 plus dog plus dog squared. Finally, you might want to solve equations. So you can say, solve f of b minus 2. Now, when you solve something, you're going to use double equals. So again, when I use variable assignment, it was 1 equals A equals this thing. A will always be that thing for my session. When I made a function, I said F of something, colon equals, which means set delayed, this pattern. But when I solve something, I'm not actually saying F of B minus 2 is 0. I'm saying solve F of B minus 2 so that it equals 0. I'm not making any sort of variable assignment here, so that's double equals in Mathematica to keep that clear. And when I do that, I get this exact result. Again, remember, the capital N is numerically approximate, so you can always keep this. Or I can copy and paste it just to show you the difference between solve and insolve, which is numerically approximate the thing, and I can get that numeric approximation. So now that you understand the basics for building up your calculations, in the next video, you'll learn how to use Mathematica to create and customize 2D and 3D graphics.